We can we, we can do it again, Chris. We can do it again. I've no only problem. been doing this like a whole year plus, right? No, no, no. It's, okay. it's okay. the last one of the year. It's the last one. Of the year. <laughs> yeah. I'm sorry. Only the New Year's resolution. Yeah. All right, hang on. For the record, it's the Traffic Safety Commission uh, uh, called to order at six oh seven. All commissioners are present and accounted for. Uh, in the commission meet approval of the commission meeting minutes, Commissioner Abarca made the motion to approve. Commissioner Malfati made the second. All approved. No, no opposed and no changes. There you go. We're caught up. <laughs> oh, no, no worries. Um, let's see. I, okay, moving on to uh, items from staff. Uh, TAC meeting report summary informational so uh, on to you Chris yes sir um, so can you you can see my screen right now um, can you see the meeting yes. minutes yeah so I, actually there there was an internal fiasco that I was not invited to the last three uh, traffic advisory committees uh, an error from uh, our our, co our colleagues who run the meeting <laughs> that has now been corrected. Uh, so I'll be on staffing that meeting, especially in the new year and forever, basically. Um, so we had uh, quite a few items uh, that were actually resolved right away. So let me actually just scroll this with you. Um, so apologies if I don't have any much context because I was not at the meeting for, uh, for these, uh, but if there are any specific questions, we can uh, pass it on to staff and we can report back to you. Um, Holly Avenue request for a speed bump. Uh, however, uh, I believe TAC did not recommend it because um, the, again, there was uh, no records of accidents and no records of uh, any incidents um, as a result of speeding in the area. So I believe that request was denied. However, you know, when we have requests like this, you know, we, we keep a log of certain streets that we're getting these types of requests on. Uh, 740 Del Monte Avenue request for a crosswalk. Um, it's, I believe this location is at mid block um, and also consider installing school zone signage. Um, so I don't think that TAC recommended a mid block crosswalk here uh, because there are alternate crossings, you know, nearby. Um, and, but uh, TAC did recommend adding school signs around this area to kind of alert people that different rules here. So uh, work order has been sent to the maintenance division of public works and a response to the uh, person who made the TAC request. Uh, I believe uh, third lane and spruce, the request to install a one-way sign at the corner of third lane and spruce due to people, people uh, mistakenly driving both directions on that one. Um, and sorry, Adina just lost internet, so she'll be back. Um, TAC has notified the police, um, but we didn't, I don't believe they recommended installing a one-way sign because there is an existing sign uh, here already. Um, and it is at the proper location because signage has to be placed on a specific location at the entrance of the street, uh, rather than I believe where this uh, request was coming from. Let's see, first lane in Spruce. Uh, nope, that was the one we just talked about. Um, 1488 El Camino request for no parking along El Camino Real on the southeast of the driveway. driveway. Um, <clears throat> so um, there are changes that needed to be made. Uh, however, you know, El Camino Real, is, we're not in control of that roadway, but TAC did recommend, uh, uh, TAC did agree on the, um, on the request for no parking and, you know, changing the um, uh, the, the paint, paint for the on-street uh, parking there uh, and then send helping the requester get a message to Caltrans because they would be the ones who has to uh, make those changes uh, in this because it is a Caltrans facility. Next one was uh, Elm and Tamarack uh, request for a stop sign and paint the crosswalk white or, and or a speed hump because drivers do not make a complete stop. Uh, and, and they also go in the incorrect direction on Tamarack, even though it's one way. Um, 
So um, uh, for this one, uh, this is one of those areas where the additional uh, speed surveys were collected. And on Tamarack, I believe in the northbound direction, uh, it was in the 85th percentile, uh, traveling at four vehicles, traveling normally between 14 and 16 miles per hour. And given that, TAC does not recommend uh, installing speed humps because they were driving slow enough uh, not to warrant that uh, uh, traffic calming uh, installation. Um, uh, however, there was an obvious uh, area where it could be misconstrued that you can make a turn into this area. So TAC did recommend placing one of those orange barriers that we use for outdoor dining at this inter intersection to you know, discourage drivers from taking that right turn from to Tamarack from Elm. And that has been um, uh, a, a work order was sent to our maintenance division on that one. And police will continue to monitor this, including the installation of the barriers and report back on the effectiveness of that. Um, this, I think that this is our, our traffic advisory committee trying something new with the resources we have. Um, also, the 805 Linden uh, requests a change from the two hour green zone to 24 minutes due to uh, residents taking advantage of that time. Um, so, um, hang on one second. Okay. Uh, but TAC didn't recommend replacing the existing two hour green zone to 24 minutes because the two hour green zone um, was benefiting uh, like this specific business that was complaining about it um, and the nearby business. And so we're going to leave them as is. Uh, the traffic advisory committee has notified police and added this to uh, their queue of uh, monitoring to make sure that they're there to enforce that, uh, that two hour green zone and stop folks from or ticket folks that are over parking or overstaying. Um, and again, um, I believe the uh, PD is the one that's uh, going to be um, taking it on for enforcement. So that's that's the action on that one. Let's see, anything else? Uh, the other discussed items on this was that uh, 562 second lane, um, the person requesting um, basically a no parking area or red zone. However, it's like uh, if you know the, the situation at the in the lanes that um, there's actually no defined parking spaces and they basically come up against the, um, uh, the, the buildings themselves. And it's a little bit informal. In this situation, I believe that um, vehicles park next to this uh, storage area that's, and that's being blocked by cars frequently. Um, we checked in planning, there is no permit history that, you know, you know, allowed this condition. There was no, you know, conditions on the on a permit that allowed them to have a, that entrance into the um, into the storage area be right on the street. Um, so, I believe um, all we could do was um, uh, encourage the homeowner uh, to apply for an encroachment permit for a no parking sign, and then that's the only time uh, we'll. Uh, will be able to install a specific sign that says no parking at that location. Um, next item was the 5,000 shoreline court. I believe there were public parking signs that were being abused. However, uh, they, this is from PD um, and just clarifying that the, the tenant, tenants of 5,000 shoreline court, uh, they are responsible or, uh, and enforcing that parking in that area despite the uh, despite it being public parking. This is a little confusing and I'm, I actually asked for clarification on what this entailed and um, we'll, we'll get our uh, PD spokesperson or not spokesperson, PD staff per person, Famita Murphy to kind of uh, provide us with more details. So there was no action taken on that one. Um, our public works director, um, brought to tax some improvements, uh, safety improvements at Junipero Serra and Arroyo, um, specifically that have TAC recommend, uh, the TAC recommends to relocate and replace some outdated green Arroyo Drive to the bike lane signage on southbound Junipero Serra and work orders have been sent to our maintenance division um, to fix that signage because I believe it's not 
visible enough um, in its weather. Uh, and again, um, there's a future paving project that will be taken on by Public Works on Hinepero Serra. And uh, this is one of those areas that I uh, believe uh, will be undergoing a traffic study um, to see if it's a, warrant, a signal is warranted between on Junipero Serra and Arroyo Drive. Chances are it will be. So that's something that was flagged for a future, uh, future meeting and uh, traffic study. Uh, local road safety plan, uh, there, I don't believe these dates are accurate, but um, there, it has gone on for staff review, and I believe they're nearing completion of that plan at the, I believe, uh, beginning of the year, and that's something that will be circulated to this commission and to the public, and it allows our engineering folks again um, to apply for funding that's going to be unlocked in April, and so that's when um, we would have the opportunity to apply for and cite that hey, local road safety plan included the, these, you know, high high incident streets in South City for specific treatments uh, and uh, safety improvements. Uh, so once that is available, we'll make sure to circulate that to every member of the commission. And then finally, East uh, East Grand and Haskins. Um, a request for a no outlet sign going eastbound along East Grand, um, just because I think it's frequently uh, folks you get in there by mistake. So TAC recommended it moving a not a through street signage to the traffic light so it's so people see it earlier. I believe it's like set back and it's too late and people are in um, are in that this area where they're not supposed to be. So uh, next meeting will be January 26, and uh, we'll report back and send these uh, minutes to you after that. Uh, that's done. So actually, we won't have a we won't have this for our next uh, January meeting. So um, we'll have to come up with another item there. Questions, comments from from folks. And actually, just a note, uh, Chair Ewan uh, and Commissioners, um, the given that I wasn't uh, at the uh, previous TAC uh, meetings, I do want to acknowledge that I'll I want to send that I want to get my hands on those minutes and send it to you for review. Um, and if there are anything specific from that that you want to discuss, let's bring it up on our our next meeting. But for now, this is the information we have. Yes, through the chair. Um, can I uh, make a comment? Hello? Are you on? You there? You're on mute. Sorry, the, sorry, sorry the I was chair, on mute. Yeah. Absolutely. Go, go ahead. Okay. Um, uh, just uh, thanks for the report, uh, Christopher. Uh, the, um, uh, we filled up a TAC case for um, East Grand Avenue around, uh, you know, one of the utilities uh, covers that was below the asphalt. Mm -hmm. uh, I think that was, uh, uh, I was last week, this weekend actually in that area and uh, it was all corrected. So thank you so much for uh, making that um, go through. Much appreciated. That's great. Uh, so, oh, there's the other part. Given that we're, I'm reporting on the everything that's going on in TAC to this commission, do let me know if there's a specific TAC request that you've made and then it hasn't been followed up on. So at least we have that kind of like when, when by the time staff attends the, these meetings, we can bring it up and like, hey, this we have this uh, we have a commission commissioner that has filed this TAC report or member of the public we haven't had a response just so we can kind of float that and advocate for those. Thank you. Um, hey, hey, Chris, the Junipero Serra and, and Arroyo item, uh, do you mind just clarify, and I guess, well, I get, you know, to, to the best of your ability, could you just, um, do you mind clarifying the, what the green Arroyo drive to the bike lane sign is? 
Uh, sorry, Chair Ewan, I don't believe I have that detail with me. Um, okay. Yeah. No. No worries. I know you weren't at the meeting, so. No. Let me. Um. It was. Let me. I was mark just curious. And then and follow up and get you like the actual request. So sorry okay. about that. Yeah. Oh no, no problem. Um. Yeah. I mean, and and I'm glad that you know a, a traffic warrant studies uh, being conducted at that intersection. Um. Because that's a really tough Arroyo Junipero Sierra coming out of Arroyo and especially turning left on a Junipero. Mm -hmm. Because of all the cross traffic volumes on Junipero Sierra. So if um, you know if that study finds that a signal is warranted and if uh, you know and if there's funding available um, to do that, I I personally I I really am in support of. Uh, you know, of a signal being implemented there because of, um, you know, how hard that that turn is to make outside of out of Arroyo, um, and more often than not, it, it gets pretty backed up on on Arroyo for, um, you know, when when turning on to Ginebra Sierra. So that's definitely something that's, uh, you know, that I'm that I'm glad to hear is uh, is being looked at. Chris, one quick question um, through the chair. Did you say uh, on the first, on the earlier part of your presentation that um, there were no speed bumps for Holly Avenue? Is that, did I misunderstand that? No, uh, not Holly. Let me go back. Uh, I, don't, I don't think we were talking about Holly at all. Oh, no, no we were, sorry, that first one. Uh, no, at this location. Um, specifically the uh, Holly and Morningside. Oh, I believe okay. that, that was the request. Sorry, I didn't, I didn't read the full <laughs> prompt. Oh, no, that's uh, okay. But yeah, so it's, it's that, it's that, like at that intersection, um, speeding and burnouts on, at, the, at that intersection. So that's then. very close to um, Sister Cities Boulevard or whatever. So I could see them not putting a speed bump that close to that. Mm -hmm. They did put two other speed bumps on Holly, so they can't burn out for very long, I don't think. <laughs> right, yeah. But exactly. thank you for clarifying that. I, I miss that. Sure. Um, Chris, a quick clarifying question. Um, so yes. El Camino Real, the entire street, like going all the way down to like Santa Clara at that point, is considered Caltrain's jurisdiction, right? So anything that does deals with improvements or any types of requests would go through Caltrans. Caltrans, yes. Caltrans. Uh, so um, yeah, it's uh, it's considered California Route 82 or like a state highway route okay. all, all up and down. And so that makes it kind of a jurisdictional issue. Uh, same with actually Junipero Serra. So um, the best thing to do for a city is to, you know, like in, in those intersections along these roads where it's a Caltrans jurisdiction, study them, figure out what's wrong. So we can go back to Caltrans and say, we, we need to do this at these areas. And then hopefully they would just like, okay, fine, do it yourself. And then that's when we usually are able to, you know, like fix the, the curb ramps or install a, you know, install paint for, for crosswalks. And from what I've been told by our colleagues in uh, engineering and public works, that's not always a very smooth process, so. Yeah. Gotcha. And do they have their own separate like tax reports that they get, like how we get it from like citizens, or is that we have to go through you all, do the study, and then they might may or may not do it. They yeah no they, uh, they have a complaint line <laughs> like that's okay. part of it, I know, uh, but it's it's you know it's not uh, not as organized as our uh, our. Uh, our staff where we would have like a traffic advisory committee in this commission to kind of filter these issues. Um, they have like a complaint line, who knows if they actually get to them. So not, not to disparage Caltrans because they, they do good work, uh, but yeah, they don't have as a defined process as we do. Okay, thank you. Yeah, Cal Caltrans does good work, but in my experience working with them, they are not responsive. Uh, most of the time um it's not that they don't care they just you know it's either just part of their they're really big organization so it's it's either 
you know, organizational challenges or they just have a lot going on at the moment. Um, but, uh, but, you know, I, I think this, uh, for, for this particular item, I think that the city doing outreach to Caltrans, I think that's a good start. Other comments, questions? Uh, Commissioner Monzon or Commissioner Barca? Uh, sorry, just one other thing. When when will the local road safety plan? When will that be circulated to the um, to the entire committee, a uh, commission? Uh, I believe at, it may not Does, be until after our January meeting. Like I think okay. mid mid January. Um, yeah, that that's the last I heard. So um, I, I can check in and kind of um, if we if we get it once I get it, this commission gets it. So we'll. Sure. Um, we'll make sure we share that. Sounds good. And and sorry that through the chair, just to the previews that we'll we'll look at this uh, report and then um, we should talk about, especially in our January meeting, how we start sort of use some of this information here and then figure out other information needs that we have um, to start uh, the work on our Vision Zero plan. Uh, if you remember that this was one of, one of those things that we would use the local road safety plan to inform because they looked at uh, you know uh, traffic incidents uh, and police data and this is that report that kind of summarizes that but identify other places where we want, might want to look at information to um, give us a better you know read of like other areas where we have incidents and things like that so um, and then um, the idea is that we we kind of craft like. A roadmap for the Vision Zero Action Plan in the next year, so that um, and this is this is all me <laughs> that then I would turn around and get funding from uh, CCAG or San Mateo County, the, the Transportation Authority, to help us complete that plan um, in at least hopefully in by 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 this time next year. So that's sort of our long range goal. So I just wanted to make sure we uh, we verbalize it before we we bombard you with like things to to the review excellent sounds uh sound, sounds like there's a lot going a lot going on uh you know even after this local road safety plan is, is developed there's still then there's still because that's just one piece of the vision zero plan itself right yeah so yeah. so the and you said that it's um so the the vision zero action plan it it's it hasn't yet been developed or or it'll it'll happen um down the road or what no that's that's going to be up to um us uh then that's one of those times we'll collaborate next year with bpac um because the um but yeah no that's something that still needs to be done um and our remember our friends from uh, silicon valley bicycle coalition they've uh, kind of um you know on the pedestrian safety side have helped jurisdictions kind of move along their uh, vision zero uh, action plans. Um, so they kind of gave us some good resources to pull from. Um, and then we'll, we'll, we'll start that work in the new year. Okay. Great. Yeah. Looking forward to it. Yeah. Um, okay. Any, any, uh, any other questions for Chris? Okay, um, I guess let's let's move on to items from the commission. The commissioners have items. No. Okay. Hey, uh, Chris, just out of curiosity, um, because I know the um, CCAG TDA Article Three grant applications are uh, coming up. Is I'm just curious, does South City have a have a project? Um, that they're con that you guys are considering for for that um not that i'm aware of um it's our engineering division that usually has a lot of a lot more information on thing things that we would go out for grants for um where i was thinking at least for vision zero action plan that this commission will kind of undertake is the we have like an i think like an acr tdm grant that kind of like helps jurisdictions plan or come up with these types of plans. Um, so at least we have 
planning does not have any projects in that grant application, but I believe engineering usually will. Okay. So if you want me to find out, I can, so. Uh, but like my, my worry always is that when I ask engineering, if they have a project they wanna submit for a grant, they're gonna then turn around. It's like, oh yeah, we do here. Why don't you do, do <laughs> so. Yeah, I guess, I guess um, if, if it gets funded, maybe, maybe yes. we'll, uh, we'll hear, you know, there's, there's no guarantee it'll even be funded. So right. we'll, right. we'll just uh, cross that bridge when we get there. Okay. Um, okay. Uh, if, if there's nothing else, I guess we can move on to adjournment. Okay. So, um, yeah, it's so 635. Um, so I hereby uh, uh, adjourn this meeting. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. No, oh, oh, I'm sorry. Okay. okay. <laughs> sorry, sorry, <laughs> sorry, sorry. Did you want to say something? No problem. Oh, no. Yeah. No Go problem, ahead. no problem. I'm multitasking here. Okay. Almost done with the toy drive. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, no, yeah. Thank you. Uh, uh, so, um, is there any possibility that we can uh, put on the agenda of next month to talk about the uh, the traffic, uh, the safety on 400 Linden, please. I think that's what we uh, recommended us back in September. Okay, sure. Yeah. And Commissioner also, Ronson, sorry, sir. But sorry to interject. Um, no problem. Did Did you not receive a response from our construction coordination person? No. No. Mister no. Omar 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 Galvan. Galvan. Yes, sir. Yeah. No. 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 no nothing. No. Okay. Huh, that's weird. Okay, yeah. we'll, we'll, we'll reach out to him and ask why. Um, okay, any other items, sir? Yeah, pretty, yeah, pretty much because, um, you know, uh, as you know, like, for example, some constructions, they create a walk path um, to, for pedestrians, and we have a lot of seniors in our area, and they're finding a lot of challenge trying to go through that uh, section. And um, so we need to, uh, you know, he, he, I, I don't know how, but uh, maybe Omar knows how to allocate that safety uh, for our pedestrians. Um, it'd be great. Okay, we'll do, sir. We'll find it. We'll, we'll find you some answers. I'm surprised that you didn't hear a response back. He's normally and, great doing that. That's weird. Okay. Yeah, and okay. and and. Um, and just for the for the records, uh, which I mentioned also uh, on the parking place commission, but for adjusting and, and everything so they can uh, be on the same page, uh, uh, you know, if we can um, discuss uh, what is the procedure to cancel the meetings uh, next year, and uh, just to pick uh, one of the just to pick one of the comments that uh, Commissioner Fan made, made a while back, I'll, I'll pick on, I'll pick onto that one that how we can uh, get our residents to participate more, to engage with us. And uh, by canceling meetings, is that's the opposite. So we need to be uh, mindful of that. So we need to have our meetings. If we need to reschedule them to a different week, I'm open to exercise that, to explore that possibility. I don't know if legally we can do that. Uh, maybe the Brown Act can educate us on that, but I would like to do everything to before we cancel it. Um, uh, that would be highly appreciated so we can accommodate our schedules around it. Okay, noted. Thank you. Uh, and Thank at you. The beginning of the year, just say, yeah, thank, thank you for reminding me, Commissioner Manzan. Um, we'll, you know, similar th things that we do at the beginning of the year, we'll have a Brown Act training, um, I, ethics training, I believe. So we'll get uh, get on the same page with our city attorney to have that uh, ready for you. So likely one of the meetings in the new year would be a joint parking place and traffic safety commission so that you don't, parking place commissioners don't hear that same presentation twice. Um, so we'll have that scheduled for all of you. Okay, thank you so much. Thanks for bringing that up, Hermes. Mm -hmm. um, all right. Okay. Um, yeah. If uh, if there's nothing else, um, I guess then we're adjourned. Uh, thanks, Chris yep. and Adina for all your work, um, as always. And and looking and everyone have a.
great holiday and see you guys in the new year. All right. Thank you, everybody. Well, have a great holiday. Thank, thank you. you. Bye, everyone. Bye, everyone. Have a good night. Merry, good night. Merry Christmas to everybody. Thank yeah. you. Thank you. Thank you. Merry Christmas. Bye -bye. Thank care. you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.